everyone. So I hope you all had a great weekend. Um, Jay and I did for sure on our little mini vacation and um, it was nice to get to go to the beach. It was cold but um, it was nice for to have a little break but I am back now and I'm back to making videos and back to going to school. It was just a nice long weekend. So um, today I wanted to share with you some of my favorite nail polishes like of all times. The ones that I always go back to grab for. So I tried to pick my favorite ones from each kind of color or um, finish and everything like that. So I guess I will start off with the darker colors and kind of work my way um, through to the lighter colors and I'll tell you when I like to wear the colors and everything like that. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I have all my polishes in this box right here. Um, obviously my whole collection does not fit into this box, just the ones I'm going to be sharing for this video. And if you would like to see a nail polish collection or any videos actually just let me know down below anything that you guys want to see I want to make for you. Okay so the first color is actually the darkest kind of shade that I have and this is the OPI's Lincoln Park After Dark and this is just a great like eggplant kind of color but it's so dark it almost appears black which I like because I do not own a black polish. I heard that the Chanel black polish is really nice and I have been wanting to try that but I really just think that black is a little harsh on my fingers and for my skin tone and I don't know why I love it on other people I just don't I don't think it looks good on me so um, this is my favorite wannabe black color and it's a great color although it has like when you hit it in the right light you can tell that it's more of a dark red kind of vampy eggplant color but um, I do I really do love this color and I think that I finally got this after everyone had raved about it and raved about it and I finally see why so many people liked it and loved it because I love it too and I think that this is a great staple polish that um, everyone should have in their collection if they like darker colors and are a little afraid to try black so um, Lincoln Park After Dark is definitely a great color. So the next polish is a brown polish and this is by Essie and this is Little Brown Dress. So first of all I was kind of like just drawn in by this color and by the name. I thought that little brown dress was like the cutest name ever because LBD like little black dress but um, whoever thought of little brown dress. But this is a great dark chocolate brown. It's definitely chocolatey. I think that it is definitely a good brown. It's appearing a little bit darker than it is on here. But I love this color. This was the color I had before Lincoln Park After Dark that was my darkest color and I just like finding other colors that aren't necessarily black that are dark so you can wear them and they still appear as like a dark nail polish but they aren't black so if you're looking for a brown polish I really do love this polish so I like this one. So my next kind of dark color is this blue color and this is by Butter London and this is Royal Navy and I think this is just a really really pretty blue. I do not believe it has any shimmer. No, I think that this is a matte color but this is a really rich dark blue so it's not completely dark it doesn't appear black it appears blue but it's very deep and it kind of reminds me of like the deep ocean how it's dark but it's still really really blue I know that's kind of a weird analogy but it's just a deep dark bright blue so I think that for blues this one is by far my favorite you can see how it appears right there and the name hits it right on the spot because it's not necessarily a navy blue but it is dark like navy blue, but it's more royal blue. So I love this polish. Okay, so the polish that I have on my nails right now that is my absolute favorite color. The camera is not going to do it justice at all. I will post pictures of all of my polishes and stuff on my blog, so be sure to check that out. I'll link it below so there will be pictures of everything. But this is the Chanel Nail Polish in Malice <laughs> number 637. And this was a part of their holiday collection this year. I'm not sure if this is limited edition. I really hope it's not because I feel like I will actually use up this whole nail polish even though nail polishes are hard to use up. This is a perfect holiday color. It is a bright shimmery red and I think that this is a red if you like metallic deep reds that this is a must for everyone to own. This is one of my, you have to own this. So this one and Lincoln Park After Dark so far are both very unique but this is just the perfect red color. I love this. I have such a great appreciation for this nail polish, not even just because of the color, because of how it paints. It's so pigmented. It's not streaky. It's a great formulation of polish. It's easy to paint for being a dark color. I'm not a very good nail painter, and I can paint this one. And it takes two coats. It finishes beautiful. The color itself is amazing. It is this just a deep red that has shimmery, but it's not chunky shimmer or glitter. It's just I don't know, you just have to look at this polish and paint it on your nails to see that this is just 
one-of-a-kind polish. I know that sounds crazy, but this nail polish, you might be able to find a dupe for it, but you're not going to find all around the greatness of this polish. And I wouldn't say this just because I love Chanel. I do love Chanel. But the nail polish that I actually recently purchased, or Jay purchased, is the Fracas nail polish. And it is a beautiful color, and I have appreciation for the shimmer in that one too, but the formulation of the polish is not as good as this one. That one is streaky, and um, just this one is perfect for red. So I definitely recommend this one, and recommend that you check it out if it's not limited edition, which hopefully it's not. I don't know. If not, maybe they'll come out with it again. The next polish is a purple polish, and this is also by Butter London, and this is in HRH. And you can see that it is a purple, shimmery color. It's beautiful for a dark purple. I never really wore purple on my nails that much, or at least not dark purple, and this one just definitely hit the spot. I love this. If you hear like funny noises in the background, that's the worm. So that's what you're hearing. But I just love this polish. I love the, I'm a very metallic key kind of person. I guess I, I feel like they're easier to paint for me than very opaque polishes because if they shriek a little bit, you can see that you didn't do a good paint job. But as far as metallic polishes, I think that they're easier to paint. They show up better. They look better. So as far as dark metallic purples, I think this one has won my heart. It is perfect. If you watch my videos, I don't really talk about that much, but I am a brown person. I love brown things. Maybe it's because I have brown hair, brown eyes. I just think brown looks best on me. And this is not brown, but this is more of a brown bronze color. And it looks like this. I absolutely love this color. This is Sephora by OPI. And it is in the shade Already Famous which is really cute actually and I think that this is just a great polish for matching everything if you're not really sure what you want to paint and you need to paint your nails really quick I think that this is a great polish it dries really quick it's easy to paint great formulation but I think that this is just a great polish to match everything but yet stand out on its own so this is kinda like a wow polish that you can throw on your fingers in three minutes and maybe not three minutes but you can paint it really fast and it always looks great and complements any outfit that you're wearing. Half of my collection is pinks and reds. I am, will never get tired of pink nail polish, red nail polish, or coral nail polish because that's basically all I own. But um, as far as my favorite hot pink, I would have to go with, these two polishes are very similar, I'll show you. But as far as my favorite hot pink, it will always be my Chihuahua Bites by OPI. So it looks like this. And you can see it says my Chihuahua Bites. Hopefully you can see it. Yep. And this is like my go-to nail polish for summer vacation at the beach. This looks great. It's a hot pink, but it's not like tacky hot pink. You know what I'm saying? This is like a classy hot pink. I think it looks great on your toes in the summer. And half the time in the summer, this is my go-to polish for my toenails. I always wear this. And I think it just looks great in the summer with a tan. And it's my favorite hot pink. And probably... Probably maybe my favorite nail polish. It's runner-up with the Chanel Malice for summer. This is my favorite. And this is kind of like a stand-in polish, but it stands alone on its own. So um, this is OPI's on or OPI on Collins Avenue. And this is also kind of a corally pink. This obviously my Chihuahua Bites is more pink, and then this one is more coral. But um, usually for my coral kind of orangey color, I always love Cajun Shrimp, but I was out of that and when I went to go repurchase it, they didn't have it. And this one was pretty close to that, so I wanted to give this one a try. So if I did have it, Cajun Shrimp would be in here because I like that as my like orange coral color. But this is a great kind of coral pink. And I think I, this is actually like if you couldn't have Cajun Shrimp or um, my Chihuahua Bites, I think that this is a great in-between color. So I don't know if you can see... You can't really tell, but um, they look exactly the same on here. But this is my Chihuahua Bites, and this is um, OPI on Collins Avenue, which I think that this is actually a really pretty color, and I really like this one too. So my favorite kind of neon color, I do not have that many neon colors, and I know they were really popular last year, and I think Essie had a few. So I went ahead and picked up this one, which is just a bright hot pink. It's not showing up as bright as it is in on video as it really is so be sure to check out my blog post so you can see like actual true to color what these colors look like and this is just in lights and I have to say that this nail polish is a beautiful beautiful color it is the perfect neon pink if you're looking for one the formulation of the polish though is probably the worst that I've seen 
it dries so quick and not that that's a bad thing it's good that it dries but it's just kind of mattifies and it's just not very very pretty it's kind of dirty looking and nasty but um, maybe if you get a professional to paint it it might look better but as far as me painting it I really I'm kind of disappointed in this but as far as like the color itself I love the color but I just feel like that for the amount that you pay you could probably find a cheaper dupe for this um, at equal or better value if you know what I'm saying it's just not formulated like an SE or OPI or higher end polish it's formulated as like something that you would pay 99 cents for I mean I've paid 99 cents for better formulations than this one but the color is just so perfect that it's hard to find a color like this so the color speaks formulation does it. My next polish is like my favorite spring polish every year. I've had this for a couple years and it's still holding strong. It's an Essie polish. But every year when spring comes around this is like my favorite color to paint in the spring because it just reminds me of like light bright spring colors. Um, it's just a beautiful color and it's this light lavender purple. I just it reminds me so much of spring. I just love it. And it is in Lilacism. I'm probably not pronouncing that right. Lilacism. Anyways, but this is just a beautiful purple color. It's easy to paint. It is nice formulation. Um, but this is a beautiful light purple. This is my favorite light purple. Um, I didn't think I would wear this as much as I did. Um, but it, this just really, I don't know, it reminds me of like lavender, light purple, and white jeans for the um, spring. So I love this polish and this will be like a staple for my spring polish. So my last color is my natural light pink color. And this one goes to Essie's Mademoiselle. So you can, there you go, you can see Mademoiselle. And this is just a beautiful light pink. It is semi-sheer, but it is buildable. So I think that you could use this if you were doing like a French manicure. I like to use it for a French manicure. Or I just like to paint it on itself for like a natural nail color. So I find that this one has a really good formulation, formulation and the color itself is really pretty too. So I believe I've owned maybe two of these. So that one's great. Okay, so that's all I have for nail polish. Those are kind of my standout favorites. And obviously I like to wear brighter colors and lighter colors in the summer, but I wear lighter colors all year round, just kind of natural colors. And I try to go for more of the darker colors in the winter, but also I like to wear them in the summer too. And right now I figured I would throw this in just because I don't know why, because I can. But my favorite hand cream at the moment is this Glycerin Hand Therapy. And it just looks like this. It comes in this black bottle with a green butterfly. And honestly, I don't even know if, I guess the Glycerin Hand Therapy is the brand. And maybe that this is number 25. So if you can see Glycerin Hand Therapy and then it says number 25. So this might be number 25. I'm not really sure. I put this on every night before I go to sleep or whenever I just want. Sometimes I carry it in my purse, but I find that I really don't put lotion on that often throughout the day. Or hand cream. I just like to put it on at night. This one is... The smell, I can't describe it, but it is absolutely incredible. It just smells amazing. It's my favorite scent. And the hand cream, it just feels like, you feel like you're actually getting repair while you're sleeping. Like, I feel like it actually does good things to my hands. It makes them feel soft and just moisturized. So I really love that, and I love the smell. I'm not exactly sure what the glycerin does for your hands and stuff, but I know that I think it has really good benefits for your hands as far as being in hand cream and stuff like that. So um, if I, I'll look it up on the internet and if I can find a website for this, my mom just purchased it for me in a little boutique. If I can find the website on this, I will link that below so you can go check that out if you want to. And like I said, I'll, I will take pictures of all of these polishes and I may do swatches and post them on my blog so that you can see because this video was kind of, the lighting was kind of bad as far as being able to see the polishes. Today it's really cloudy outside so we're working with some not so good lighting. I thank you all for watching and don't forget to follow me on Twitter because I have two followers but I finally made a Twitter for my account on here so that I can post when I post videos or you know if I just want to ask you guys a question or if you know I want to say oh what kind of video would you like to see then I can tweet that and you can tweet me back and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoyed and be sure to let me know what you think down below and if you have any video requests let me know down below. And I guess I will see you in my next video. So thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.